Hello students, welcome to the video of 7th General Science. In the last video, we have completed the chapter number 6 that is measurement of the physical quantities. In this video, we are going to discuss the exercise of the chapter number 6. Let's start the exercise. The first question, write answers to the following questions in your own words. A is why is the weight of the same object different on different planets. We know that weight is a gravitational force acting on the object. Mass is the content and weight is the gravitational force acting on that mass is called we, we called it the weight and gravitational change gravitational force changes planet to planet. That's why the weight of the any object changes according to the place means it may change according to the planet b is the what precaution uh, we will we take to make accurate measurement in day to day affairs first the device used for the measurement should be appropriate and properly working second the device should be used properly Third, it should be checked that the device is used should have stamp of standardized by the department of weight and measures. We already discussed what is the standardization and what is the use of the proper handling of the instruments. Next, see what is the difference between mass and the weight. We know that mass is the content matter contained in a body and weight is a force exerted on a body due to gravitational pull of the another body such as earth means it is the gravitational force that acting on the body it is called a weight then second is the mass of a body remains the same everywhere in the universe means it is unchanged and the weight of the body depends on the local gravity where it is placed means weight can be changed and mass cannot be mass cannot be changed now next is the the mass of the body cannot be zero but the weight of the body can be zero means gravitational if there is a no gravitational force then the weight of the body can be zero then let's discuss about the units the unit of the mass is kilogram and the unit of the weight means weight is a force gravitational force and the unit of the weight is the newton means force acting on the body that is the weight and the unit is the newton and fifth is the mass is a scalar quantity and weight is a vector quantity we know that scalar quantity and the quantity which has the magnitude only means mass has magnitude only that's why it is called a scalar quantity and weight is a vector quantity because weight uh, um, weight has mag magnitude as well as direction means it count with the help of two uh, parameters and mass means scalar quantity measures with the help of only one parameter that's why the mass is a scalar quantity and weight is a vector quantity so this is the difference between mass and the weight so you can add some points according to your study also like uh, we can measure mass with the help of beam balance or a pan balance and uh, weight with the help of a spring balance or weighing machine this can be uh, this can also be added uh, in the difference between mass and the weight let's see the next question so the second question who is my companion means you have to match the pairs so group a and group b are given so uh, here is the answers velocity uh, the unit is meter per second area the unit is um, square meter volume liter mass kilogram and unit of the density is kilogram per cubic meter these are the units first is the first column group a is the quantities are given physical quantities are given and in group b there are the units for the each and every physical quantity now next question question number three explain giving example 
so a is given scalar quantity we know that scalar quantity a quantity which has only magnitude and no direction as no is known as the scalar quantity means the quantity which have magnitudes means we can measure how much that is the magnitude that is the um, that quantities are called a scalar quantity the examples are distance work speed time energy etc are the scalar quantities so these are the examples of the scalar quantity now b is given vector quantity we know that the vector quantity a quantity which has magnitude as well as direction scalar quantity has only magnitude and no direction but vector quantity has magnitude as well as direction such uh, quantities are called as the vector quantity examples are force velocity displacement etc means in this quantity the force is uh, applied to this quantity that's why we can measure it and the force is also acting on this quantities these quantities are expressed completely only when their directions are defined along with their magnitudes means these are expressed with the help of force next fourth question explain giving examples the errors that occur while making the measurement so first uh, error we can say that the instrumental error if there is a problem with the instrument then proper reading will not record it for examples the pens uh, the pens of the beam balance are not same second error we can discuss that is the handling error if the instruments is not properly handled then measurements will not accurate examples if we measuring time of the runner and don't know how to use the stopwatch so these are the errors while we measuring any quantity you can add some errors at your own also you have to um, write that which errors we can uh, make during the measurement of the quantity next fifth question is the give reasons first is it is not uh, proper to measure quantities by using body parts as a units we cannot measure anything like distance or something with the body parts because the body parts there it is not reliable and unique means the body parts length of the body parts may vary person to person each and every person does not have the same body parts length of the body parts is not same person to person that's why it is not unique and reliable so b is it is necessary to get weight and measure standardized at regular interval what is the reason because of the difference in physical condition from place to place the references chosen as units for weight and measures varies so it is become necessary to get uh, weight and measure standardized at a regular interval means from place to place the physical condition changes and due to that physical changes the standardizes must change so that's why we standardize the measures at the regular interval now question number 6 explain the need of accurate measurement and the devices to be used for that so what is the need of the accurate measurement accurate measurement gives us the exact quantity if we are buying metals like gold silver then measurement must be accurate means the instrument we are using um, for the measurement of these precious metals they must be accurate there should be no gap of the milligram also then if we are telling time if it is nearby then there is no problem suppose we are telling the time about 315 might be it is 313 but that is not the 2 minutes is not for just it is nearby but if we are measuring timing timing for the experiment or timing for the runner in a competition then it must be accurate up to the milliseconds also that's why there is a necessity of the accurate measurement and the devices we use for the measurement must be reliable and working properly so that there is no error in the measurement means we get the exact measurement using that instrument or devices